Hey friends! Today we are reading a story called Desert. Here's just a fun little tip that Miss Dunn knows. So sometimes it's hard to know if it says deserts or desserts. Here's my trick. Deserts has one S, desserts has two. So, because you always want more dessert, you put two S's. Deserts, you only want to go to once. That's my just little trick. Tip, tip for you. All right, so today we are doing a story about an informational text. That means it's going to give you information that is true. It gives you facts about a topic. So here are things to look for. Facts about the world. It's going to have photos and labels. Remember, it's going to tell us what are in those pictures. Um, and the ways that the pictures and the words help us understand the story or the text. So as we read today, I want you to stop and think if you don't understand something, because that's okay. That's why we're learning about it. You can reread the story. Look at the pictures. Use what you already know to ask or to answer the questions about the things that you don't know. And it's okay to listen to this video once, maybe three times if you have to. Or if you're in the room, maybe you need to listen to it again, and that's okay. So we're reading a story called Desert, and it has four power words for us. So our first power word is a dune. And dunes are little hills of sand that are in the desert or the ocean. So you could say, we walked up and down the sand dunes at the beach. And then we also have shrubs. Shrubs are bushes, which are woody plants with lots of stems and they're smaller than trees. So you could say, we planted small shrubs by our house. Then we have spines. If something has a spine, it has a thin pointed part that are sharp. Don't touch the sharp spines on the cactus plant. And then we have rest. When you rest, you're quiet. You don't do anything and maybe sleep. So we rest after playing all day. So now we're going to go ahead and read our story, Deserts. Deserts by Quinn M. Arnold. Hello, desert. Hot deserts are dry. They do not get much rain. The biggest hot desert is the Sahara. Deserts may be rocky or sandy. Sometimes they have rocks and sand. Sandy deserts may have tall dunes. Snakes slide over the sand. Plants and animals adapt to the desert. Animals get water from food that they eat. Shrubs and wildflowers have long roots. They can reach water far below. Some cacti grow more than 40 feet tall. They store water. Sharp spines keep many animals away. The hot desert sun warms the lizards. Jackrabbits rest in the shade. Foxes come out of their dens at night. Here's a picture of the desert. Here's a dune. Here's a palm tree. Here's a scorpion. Ah! So that's the Sahara Desert. And so, remember, this picture is giving us labels. That's one of our text features that are in informational text. So, the words are pointing to what it is. So, the part, this is the dune, and that's what the word says. It's telling us that that is the dune. So, here's the Sonoran Desert. Here's a cactus. Some spines on the cactus. The gopher snake. Here's some wildflowers. And then the rocks. Goodbye, desert. All right, so now you're going to monitor and clarify. Was there a part you didn't understand? What do you need to figure out? How do the animals get food and water? And how do they find a shelter to stay in the desert? Hmm. Those are what we are going to talk about in our discussion and answer on Seesaw.